Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today we're going to talk about my new camera bag this is the Alpaca Bravo Sling Mini version 2 Let's go! So, as some of you guys might already know I love to use a regular sling bag for my camera carry solution For example over here, I have the Alpaca Go Sling Mini. This is my most used everyday photography camera bag. It's actually not a camera bag, it's just a regular sling bag, but I use it as my camera carry solution. Another example is this guy right here. This is the Alpaca Go Sling, the larger version of the Go Sling Mini. And I use this bag for my travel photography camera bag. Again, this is just a regular sling bag, not a dedicated camera bag. Today, we have the Alpaca Bravo Sling Mini version 2. And after using it for a few weeks for almost a month, I can definitely say that this sling bag is the best for everyday photography. It has better specs compared to the Go Sling Mini. It looks a little bit more stylish in my opinion, but it doesn't compromise when it comes to features, especially for camera carry solution. In today's video, I will make a review of the Alpaca Bravo Sling Mini version 2 from the perspective of a photographer, which means I will carry my cameras and lenses and other photography accessories inside this bag. Anyway, I just want to say thank you to Alpaca Gear for sponsoring this video. Alpaca sent me this bag for free for a review. However, all of the opinions in this video are my own and they don't have any sayings in this video. And I also have a discount code that you should check out on the description below if you want to purchase this bag or any other Alpaca Gear bag from their website. Now let's continue with today's video. Now let's talk about why I chose the Alpaca Bravo Sling Mini version 2 and the reason is quite simple. I just want to emphasize that I don't really like dedicated camera bags that look like professional camera bags. They are not stealthy at all, they don't really blend well in the environment and they're just very eye-catching. I don't like that. I mean, some of the dedicated camera bags that I have don't even look like camera bags at all and I think that's really nice because they blend better in the environment, they don't look really conspicuous and they don't draw too much attention. But with the Alpaca Bravo Sling Mini version 2, I think I can get something that's even more stealthier, even more inconspicuous and blends better in the environment, especially for street photography, travel photography and everyday photography. What I wanna say is that when I'm wearing this bag on the street, when people look at me, they won't get the impression that I'm carrying multiple cameras and lenses inside this bag. Yes, I'm carrying more than one cameras and I will talk about it in a little bit later. Now let's talk about some quick specification of the Alpaca Bravo Sling Mini version 2. First of all, there are three main compartments the front pocket, the hidden rear pocket, and the main compartment in the middle. What matters the most to me is the main compartment. Surprisingly, it's very spacious. As I mentioned before, I can carry up to two camera bodies and four lenses with two of the lenses already attached to the camera bodies. On the other pockets, on the front pocket, and on the rear hidden pocket, I can store some camera accessories such as batteries, SD card, card reader, and maybe even power bank for my phone or for charging my camera as well. The main compartment also has a dedicated pocket for storing up to 8 inch tablet such as iPad mini if you decide that you want to carry your tech with you with this bag. Now let's quickly talk about the material of this bag, which I think is very durable as well as very lightweight. The exterior is made from x pack fabric with some nylon linings and then the interior is made from ripstop nylon with some honeycomb pattern. So it's very nice and lightweight. Anyway, the weight of the bag is about 380 grams, so it's very lightweight in my opinion for a sling bag of this size. And speaking about the capacity, it's about 5 liters for this bag, which is surprisingly big in my opinion because the bag doesn't look big at all, it doesn't look bulky at all, and it is very slim. As for the cameras and lenses that I usually carry inside this bag, 
They are the Panasonic Lumix GX850, and then I have the GX85, and then for the lenses, I have the kit lens 12 to 32 millimeter attached to the GX850, and the 35 to 100 little telephoto lens attached to the GX85, and then I also brought with me the Laowa 7.5 millimeter f2, as well as the Panasonic Lumix 14 millimeter f2.5. So two cameras four lenses, and also one extra camera, which is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 with its wireless microphone for recording some vlogs. So as you can see, plenty of camera gear inside this 5 liter sling bag. Anyway, I haven't made a review about the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 as well as the Panasonic Lumix GX850. Both are new cameras, so stay tuned on my channel because I will make review videos of these guys really soon. This bag also features weather-resistant zippers, and combined with the weather-resistant X-Pack material, you can bring this bag outside under heavy rain and you will get no problem at all. I did that multiple times, I took some pictures when it was raining outside, and all of my cameras and lenses that were inside of this bag were protected really well, everything is dry, and the bag does its job perfectly. Other features of this bag include a key tether built into the front pocket of this bag that you can use to attach keys. And then again, the hidden zippered a rear pocket that you can use to store secure items such as your phone, wallet, travel document, passport. And then also it has this magnetic buckle that you can use to detach the strap quickly, but it's also useful to attach magnetic photography accessories or video accessories such as the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 wireless microphone that is magnetic, I can easily attach it right here. Or you can use the Insta360 GoTo action camera, attach it here. It is also magnetic as well, and that is very handy. And also it features this nice seatbelt style strap that you can use to carry this bag around. It's very comfortable and it's very stylish and very slick as well. So now I want to share my experience after using this bag for more than a month. And I can definitely say that this is now my favorite everyday photography camera bag that isn't actually a camera bag. If you are using smaller cameras such as micro folders or other different kinds of mirrorless camera format that is not too big and too bulky, then you can definitely use this sling bag to carry your camera and lenses and I think it will do a good job. What I like about this bag is even with all those gear that I mentioned before, two cameras, four lenses, blah blah blah, it still looks very slim and very stealthy, it doesn't look bulky at all, I think it is very important because you don't want to look like you're carrying a lot of camera gear inside of this bag. Stealth is the keyword right here. There's a little bit of branding right here. It says Alpaca and it has that Alpaca logo right here. But overall, the look of the bag is also nice in my opinion. I enjoy the design of this bag. Again, it blends really well in urban environment for street photography. It doesn't look like a camera bag at all. And when you're walking around, it just looks like a regular sling bag and I love it. So I asked some people around me, what do you think is inside of this sling bag? And none of them can really tell that I'm carrying camera gear inside. None of them really knows that I'm carrying two cameras and four lenses. They just thought, oh, maybe a tablet. Oh, maybe your everyday carry, but none of them really say camera and lenses. And I think that's a plus for this bag. I think this bag personally aligns with my philosophy of gear. I prefer gear that is small but packs a lot of punch and this is one of them. With this bag, I'm able to just go anywhere and I mean anywhere to the office, around the street, going to the restaurant, into the mall, and I can still have my camera inside ready with me at all times and people won't get suspicious at me, they won't think that I'm carrying camera gear inside and there won't be people stopping me, telling me no camera inside, that kind of stuff. So yeah, the bag works really well for that kind of stealthy situation. I personally also think that having your camera ready with you at all times is very important. You know the saying, the best camera is the one that you have with you. And with this bag, you can do just that. You can carry your best camera inside this bag. Not just your phone, but a dedicated camera that can produce 
better image quality inside this bag and have it ready with you at all times. I think with this bag you can uh, get better at photography instantaneously because that means you can produce better quality pictures rather than just relying on your phone. Now let's talk about some things that I don't really like from this bag and to be honest, there isn't anything that I don't really like from this bag. But if I have to be overly critical and analytical, I actually don't really like the triangular shape of the profile of this bag. You see right here, it looks like a triangle. I prefer a boxier rectangular shape because of the ergonomics, because of what I'm storing inside, which is camera gear, cameras and lenses. I think boxier shape will be better. However, I realize that with the triangular profile, it helps to make the bag slimmer and look smaller when you are wearing it. So yeah, that's a compromise that I don't really mind. And I think it is also a benefit as well that makes the bag look slimmer and more sleek. And that wraps up today's video. So hopefully by watching this video, you'll be able to decide whether the Alpaca Bravo Sling Mini version 2 is the right sling bag for you or not. So that is all for today's video. So please comment down below what is your favorite camera bag for everyday kind of photography or even for travel photography. Also, if you have any question, please comment down below as well and I will try my best to answer them. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, subscribing to my channel down below. And if you want to support my channel even further, consider using the affiliate links on the description below or use the super thanks button to make a small donation to my channel. I will really appreciate those. Anyway, thank you and see you in the next video. Goodbye.